the overall goal of this procedure is to assess the gustatory sensitivity of adult worker bumblebees towards nutrients and toxins. With this method, we can measure the natural feeding responses of bees in fine detail. This will allow us to identify the bees' ability to detect both nutrients and toxins in solution. The main advantage of this technique is that it provides several response measures, such as the amount of food bees consume in a short period and the duration of the feeding bout. This has several advantages in comparison to existing go-no-go -go methods, such as the proboscis extension reflex protocol. Assays of behavior provide valuable insights into neuronal mechanisms. This assay will provide a controlled way of studying the freely moving bees' responses to toxic compounds in food. A visual demonstration of this method is really critical, as the preparation and the presentation of the solutions can be difficult to learn. They require a really precise delivery of the solutions at the correct time. This demonstration utilizes Bombus terrestris audax from commercially reared colonies. Two hours before the start of the experiment, collect individual worker bumblebees using a plastic vial with a perforated plastic stopper. To begin, transfer vials of individually collected bees to a dark environment and starve them for two to four hours. Bees are tested in a holding tube. The holding tube is a modified 15 milliliter centrifuge tube with a four millimeter hole drilled at the tip and a piece of steel mesh fixed inside. Next, fix two pieces of cardboard to the sides of the polystyrene holding tube cradle to shield the bee from visual stimuli during the experiment. After the starvation period,